sixth grade module one lesson 15 problem set number one the producer of the news station posted an article about the high school's football championship ceremony on the new website the website had 500 views after four hours create a table to show how many views the website would have had after their first second and third hours of posting if the website receives views at the same rate how many how many views would the website receive after five hours Okay, so this is number one, and we need to create a chart that shows the views after hours. So we have hours and views, and we know we need to know up to here five hours. So let's do one, two, and we know that after four hours, it had 500 views. So I'm gonna put four and 500 views. We need to figure out one, two, three, four, and five hours. Now, there's not really much information that we're given here. We know that four hours, we get 500 views. So if I wanna know how many views I get in one hour, I'm gonna do 500 divided by four just to see how many views I would get in one hour and then I can work off of that. So four goes into five one time. One times four is four. Subtract and get one, bring down the zero. Four goes into ten two times. Two times four is eight. Subtract, bring down the zero, and four goes into twenty five times. Five times four is twenty. We get nothing. So in this is saying 500 divided by 4 is 125. So in one hour, there would be 125 views. So if there's 125 views in one hour, we can figure out two hours by doing 125 times 2 would get us 250. If we want to do three hours, we can do 125 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 3 times 1 is 3, so 375 views. 125 times 5 would get us. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, carry the 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so 625 views in 5 hours. Number two, write an equation that represents the relationship from problem one. Do you see any connections between the equations you wrote and the ratio of the number of views to the number of hours? So we need to write an equation. So what we were doing was the number of hours times 125 got us the views. Or we could say, if we want to write it over here, 125 h equals the views. So the connection that we see is that if you multiply the hour by 125, you'll get the number of views that you would have for that length of time. Number three, use the table in problem one to make a list of ordered pairs that you could plot on the coordinate plane. So I'm just going to list them right here. We would have one 125, 2, 250, 3, 375, 4, 500, and 5, 625. Number 4. Graph the ordered pairs on a coordinate plane, label your axes, and create a title for the graph. So we're going to have we need to make one axis the number of views and the number one the other one the hours. So let's make this the number of hours down here. Over here I'll do views. And we can call it views per hour. So you could have different 
different title, as long as it gives some description of what this is about, then that's okay. So the hours only go up by one. So I'm just gonna put zero there and I'll make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only went up to five, so I'll leave that there. And then our number of views, this goes up to 625. So we're gonna, I might skip four, so it's kind of going by 25s. And um, just label the 100 marks. So 100, and I'll do one, two, three, four. So that's 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and I'll stop at 700. So let's plot 1, 125. So here's 1, 125 would be right there. 2, 250. going to be right here. 3, 375. 4, 500. 5, 625. So that is what a graph would look like. And number five, use multiple tools to predict how many views the website would have after 12 hours. So one of the tools you could use could be a chart. If we extended this and kept going to 12 hours, that would be one way to do it. Another tool you could use would be um, another tool you could use would be the um, formula that we just came up with. So 125 times the number of hours would be equal to the views. So if we did 125 times 12, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, put our 0 down onto the 1, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. Add it together, and you get 1,500. So it would be 1,500 views after 12 hours. So there's a tool. You could use a double line graph. And we're trying to get to 12 views, so 1, 2, 3, So I'll go to 12 views. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And one view is 125, and you could just count up by 125. So 250, 375, 500, 625, 750, 875, 1,000. 1,125, 1,250, 1,375, and 1,500. So this right there gives us our answer. You could continue the graph, the chart, like we'd done, that we'd started up earlier. So there's different things you could do to all come to the same answer.